okay guys welcome back to my tutorial today i will be showing you how to create a mock-up or a branding stationery using photoshop using photoshop so the first thing you need to do is to jump in into your browser then we need to download first uh the mock-ups first so you should type on your browser freepick.com freepick.com like this should look like this freepick.com then you click on freepick.com then you sign in it's for free uh, you can choose to sign in for premium to pay a price but for this tutorial I decided to go with a free method so you sign in I'm already signed in so you sign up what I mean so I'm already in so as you can see here's my account over here so once you already sign in, sign up, it look like this. Then you should go next to images, then there's arrow there, then you click on this arrow. Then you go for, click for free filters and PSD, which is Photoshop. Then you type anything you need. So this tutorial, I'll be looking for branding. I'll be looking for branding. Yeah, branding mockup. Branding mock up, then it's loading. Yeah, then let's go, just go with this one. Then you click on it, it's loading again. Once you clicked, just remove this annoying thing. Then yeah, download, then free download, then free download downloading it will show on your browser whether if you're using uh what you call chrome it will show here yeah. so you can see here yeah, it's downloading yeah it's downloading free download it's download once it's done downloading then you have to open it show in finder or open it i just want to show this one in finder then here is it then you just wanna drag it and drop it on desktop. Then here is fine. Then so now it's on desktop. Let's close this browser. Then double click on it so that it can unzip the file. Yeah, the file is unzipped now. Here's the file. So let's just delete the zip file. We don't need it for now. Then open this file then you, as you can see here there's psd there's jpeg but we'll go with the psd one then double click on psd to show you the uh, photoshop then it will take you straight to photoshop it will open it on photoshop so yeah it's opening as you can see yeah so you have your logo created on illustrator or somewhere so the only thing now we need is to create a branding stars branding stationery or branding something so here is it yeah here is it now is on photoshop as you can see i will look on photoshop so let me just make my screen much bigger i don't wanna close it okay yeah it's fine I don't know what's going on. Oh, the most that got stuck. Yes. Then you click. We need to change the logo. Let me wait for it. Finish loading. As you can see, we clicked on this part. As you can see, we click on this part. Then, and the layers it show us that we clicked this part and then now there is a little square there is a white square down here forget about this thing that looks like a sim card or something you see the little square on the corner in this corner of this gray square the big gray square but there is also a little square a small square what i mean a small square down here then you have to click on this small square 
double click on this small square then it take you to the next page so you can delete this logo then put your own logo drag it from your desktop or import it then use it then to size your logo scale it up I think mine is fine like this that's my logo then place it's placed then hit command s command s or you can go over here to files and save then just click command s i think it's fine now let's go over the side yeah here's it as you can see is our local now on it then let's click this one yeah as you can show it's already says we click this logo so let's hit this small square down here double click on it double click on this small square let me wait i don't know why my photoshop or oh, it's my computer hardware let me just select something there let me go back it's fine yeah here we go then let me just remove the, the other one then again you drop and drag your logo yeah i think my logo is also fine like this and let me place it's placed then let me delete this one their own logo then now hit command s then it's saved let's go back here yeah, as you can see it's already there let's change this okay yes again okay. small square double click on it again okay. drop and drag resize Yes, place it. Yes, placed. Then delete their own logo, their logo. Then hit Command S to save your logo. Then again, the logo is there. Okay. Okay, now to select the selection tool, then we have to select this. Yeah, select it. Then here is it. Uh, cut three then double click yes here we go make sure you delete their own logo after that's the most other thing that's important so that you can able to align exactly where the logo is and the other things so now we're to write our own text let me say this is Mr. Mr. M G uh, yes mm. let me just let me make go back to selection tool I think I had to open properties, characters, I mean, on Windows, if they are not visible in the site, you can just go over to Windows, then click character, and let me change this color to uh, something relevant to my brain. I think the orange one is fine. Then the size, I think, is too big. Let me keep it into 48. No, 48 is too small. Let me keep it to 60. 60 is fine. Yes. Then again, let me write the text. He's a manager or is a CEO. He's just a CEO. C. CEO, not CEO, CEO is a CEO, 
this guy over here is a CEO. Let me change this color. I mean the text. Let me change the text to something more simple. Let me just go with this area. Then Mr. CEO. Let's come here. Change this text size. 36 36 yeah let me align it here yeah i think it's fine then select this uh rectangle tool and now i want to create this line over here you can also change the line to this color and the one you're using okay Think now it must be here okay then you put the CO cell phone numbers let me just write like this put the CO cell phone numbers put a control code for instance uh, two seven six six two yeah again uh it's the email address for this guy it's what is it it buy when the house the company buy when the house buy when the house dot c o dot z a and again on uh, the address let me just give it a look it's very stiff zero go road sunny side Victoria okay yeah so now it's fine like this so let me change the alignment of the center to like yeah. yes it's fine like this now yeah it's much more good then let me delete their own design and leave mine there yeah then here's mine then click Global properties command s to save it's saved yeah as you can see now we have our own details over here yes that's it guys pretty much more simple the background mm -hmm. okay background it comes with this thing on this so the most important thing is to click over the square then it take you to the next it opens your next document where you can place your own design onto this thing anything that you downloaded as psd file you have to click on the small then you will be able to edit it into your own design as you can say now we had a pretty looking design for this windy house by windy house business or company okay so once it's like this we are done uh, click over to file export a file export as export as exporting a file now the image okay it's processing Let's just wait for it to finish processing Okay, it's getting there right now. It's getting there. Yeah, I will also leave the link for freepig.com to download the mockups or templates, whatever you call it, down here below in the description. Make sure you like, you leave a comment, any question you want to ask. 
related to Adobe softwares or websites and you can check a lot of my videos on this channel once you subscribe and open the bell notification so that when I post you the first one to get a video so export our yes then I wanna call it like whatever I call it I don't wanna export to the to this file I just wanna export it to desktop then click export it's exporting so yeah guys that's it it's exported now let me just minimize this 